Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're gonna to be looking at doing an alternative cut to the wolf cut. So this is a sectioning pattern designed by Jill Berry. I've tweaked it slightly just to be a little bit different, but we're gonna be doing a course for Designer Head at Laces Distributor for Joyco. And uh, Jill is doing the haircut, a wolf cut, and I'm gonna be doing the color. So Jill sent me the sectioning pattern that I've got similar here. Um, I've just changed it up slightly for the video, so we're not doing exactly the same, but it's a little, little twist on it. Very, very similar, but uh, yeah, Jill's looks unbelievable. Uh, I'll also vlog that day, so you'll be able to see everything that we get onto. But yeah, we're doing a course, the request has been a wolf cut, and to color a wolf cut, the color side of things is designed about around my barista artista course, where I take inspiration from a different industry, translate it into hair, and then we come up with a concept around that. So that's gonna be really exciting. The industry that I'm gonna be picking is a secret at the minute, but you'll see everything there is when it comes to it. So today I'm gonna to be cutting a wolf cut, and we are then going to colour it. I'm going to colour it on Saturday night. You don't know what day it is. I don't know what day it is. But yeah, you're going to get a video today of me cutting a wolf cut. And then you'll get a video of me colouring a wolf cut. And then you will see the whole thing that happened at the at Laces at a later date. So yeah. If you've got any questions surrounding the wolf cut, there's plenty of videos that I've done so far on the wolf cut, but I'm also gonna be coloring it. I've done another color with the wolf cut as well that I've still got to edit and bring to you guys, but wolf cut seems to be big right now. So why not do another? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, give video a thumbs up, and let's get into the video. So sectioning pattern is like a, a bit of an arrow at the front. Uh, but then it's a big diamond section on that back piece there. So working from the high point of the head, uh, I come to the parietal ridge as it curves off, go back to just above the occipital bone, which is there. And then I bring a, uh, this is sort of on the, on the pattern of, of that Jill sent me, and then a diagonal up to near in the front line, probably an inch away from the, from the hairline, come back, come down. So it's a bit like a, yeah, a bit like an arrow, reversed arrow on the top. But what I'm thinking of doing is obviously the wolf cut is a shorter fringe, so I'm putting in a guide, and I'm thinking of pivoting. So we end up with keeping a bit more length through here. I've seen Jill's, Jill's is a little bit shorter in here, but I'm gonna be bringing this uh, version, colored a little bit differently, but just to give them two inspirations. So they're, they're gonna be coloring Jill's cut. This is just gonna be an idea for them to see different concepts and different uh, wolf cuts and variations of color one on there. So let's get to the haircut. So first I'm just going to do a, a, a central parting, but I'm just going to go either side of it, just to give me a bit of a starting point. So get that out of the way, get that out of the way. That's just giving me that section straight down the head there. So what I'll do is I will take I'll just get that a little bit more centered. Get that there. So Jules is really textured internally. I might just do mine a little bit longer so they've got so they can see. So if because what happens a lot of courses is that people won't go as short as uh, as we want them to. They think. Oh, go too short so uh, I'll do a little bit of a longer variant so they can see a longer version although the mannequin head isn't too long um, to what Jill's done so then on the day we'll be coloring a shorter version and then we'll have a longer version so they can see it what it looks like for their clientele in the salon <laughs> so I'll start here and I will take it to I'll, I'll rest my finger on the nose and the point of the nose and I'll just Take that off there. So we've got our first guide there. I'm then going to bring this up to the ceiling and then out 45 degree from the head. And I'm just gonna put a 90 degree line in so it's quite heavy. Because wolf cuts are a little bit heavier. So shags and mullets. Actually, I'm gonna go a bit shorter. There we go, so there's my guide. And I'm gonna cut back at a 45 degree angle so we get a bit more 
softness in there. Now, there's my first section. I'll clip that out of the way so you can see that we're not interfering with that at the minute. So there's our, our first guide sitting there. And then I'm gonna, that's gonna be my start point. So the pivot, so I'm gonna work through the head. So I'm gonna work from that piece we've just done. And then what pivoting is, is I will go there, 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 until we end up horizontal. From our starting point, which is there, we're going to just draw a line through there, 45 degrees, elevating, you can already see that shape coming in there. And then what this will do is when we get horizontal, to where we are working, Our guide is there, and we went from there all the way around until we've come horizontal. And this just brings us in to this side nicely. So then, what I can do with that is blend this in. Still elevating. Still looking at that 45 degree angle through there and on our fingers. And this is just giving us that really nice sweep through there. So it's giving us a guide on the sides as well. So what we'll do again is we will use that as our guide and we'll just work in vertical sections through the side but still elevating to our guide. You can see our guide there. Still a 45 degree, 45 degree on the finger. And that's just dropping through there. And we're gonna work this until we get just to the back of the ear. And when we're elevating up like this, we're maintaining that length on the perimeter. See that already, that shape coming in. Last section, we're working behind the ear. You can see that's all sitting quite heavy. There. We're going to do exactly the same on this side now. So we'll just get our guide, get that out of the way. to the back what I'm going to have is now is a stationary guide so I'm going to bring everything up to that back of the ear so we'll be working here and then up to then to the middle and then this is where all this hair will then travel up to here which will create that blend but maintain the length around there you can see we've got a guide there So 
so this is going to elevate there's the guide up to our last section Now we'll do the exactly the same on the other side. So back of the ear. See how that all blends through there. Got a little bit of internal layering going on in there, and then we'll start on the top section. So I'm just moving on to this top section now. And what I want to do is just draw a section through that middle. So we we'll just open that up. Now we could use that as a guide to start with, that piece that we've already cut, but I want to go quite short with this bit, so I'm going to take half a cone, so I'm just going to start from there, so you can see it, there, spin it around, and then we're going to go half a cone, so to there, I'm just going to cut that off. I'm just going to have this coming up to the top. So all this is is cut, brought up to the ceiling, cut off square, like that. And that will fall through there and give loads of texture and height through here. Because that's something a wolf cut has. There's quite a bit of density and height in this area. So what we're going to do is we're then just going to come over into this section. And I want, to, I want to keep some length through this exterior. So I'm just going to elevate. I'm just going to be pulling it to this first section that we put in. And then just cut off nice and square. We can put in texture after. And then again. Elevate to our guide. The hair is coming over, so you can see where it's travelling to. That hair here is travelling to that central point. See there. We'll find our guide. Because we're bringing it over, elevating and over directing slightly towards us, we know we're going to be maintaining length on this exterior part. And there's that. So you see that shortness in there, it just gets gradually longer towards there. So now we pull this guide out that we put in at the beginning. Push it over to there, and then we start elevating this this side towards the middle. Find our guide, cut it off. So that hair's travelling up to there. In the last section, just make sure we pick it all up. We've still got that sectioned out through there. 
so we know we're not picking up any of that. That's over directing to there and elevating and then we'll just take this off. And look, you can see all of that texture all through there. So now we're going to start on this section, this uh, little, these little pieces here. So what I'm going to do is I want to link that up with that fringe. So we're going to cut from short to long. So I'm just going to bring it up to the ceiling, getting that short bit through there. You can see we're just connecting that through like so. And again on this side, I'll show you from this way. piece on the crown to the fringe. So let's just take a bit of that back piece and then we'll take a bit of that front piece and then just angle your fingers for them to meet. And then just work through this little section, same as you did on the other side. Pushing the hair up to that middle part in and then connecting. And there we go. That is today's wolf cut. So I'm just going to get some product in there. So we're going to go in with some Joyco Joy Whip. So we're just going to let it air dry. So I'm going to use a bit of zero heat as well from Joyco. So we're going with the zero heat also, which is for fine to medium. Just a little bit. Just scrunch this in. We've got the hold from the mousse from Joy Whip, and then this is just going to sort of defrizz and help dry it off. 